Here we are for episode 3 out of 4 of the final season of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Last off, hope people got kidnapped and we got shot. The log came in very handy and took out quite, um, it slammed the shit out of that one guy. Then we used the couch to fucking pin one up against a wall. Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ he was justified for killing him. The other kids didn't see it that way. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together, and I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone but we knew someone who did. Yeah, he got stabbed like six times, thrown out a window, broke his leg in half practically, missing an eyeball. Um, Abel ain't doing too good, so if we don't get questions out of him fast, I feel like he ain't giving many. Ruby. At the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look. I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he 
he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. Go wake him up. We should bury Mitch. It's time. Yeah, that kind of sucked. He was kind of rude to us, but he was he was being nice at the end, and then got shamed. I hope you can. Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead. Willie. Well, it's true. We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up. Well, someone has to say it. It's what everyone's thinking. Uh, yeah, Ten. Kinda. I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and a sim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Oh, I will. We already beat the shit out of him, but he slapped the shit out of AJ with a handgun, so... What was that? No, that was a sawed-off shotgun, I believe. So did the sniper that was, like, sniping us escape, or did we get them? They escaped. And just Lily and like one other person, maybe. I will kindly. Hi, Rosie. How you doing? I don't now. Brody. I feel like that might have came off if we cleaned it sooner. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. Damn, his legs jacked up. Ready? I'm not beat the show of him. I don't want him down here with me. The fuck? Well, it ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know, from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. Oh. <laughs> no offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so if you don't mind. Oh shit! <coughs> Damn it, squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't... Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. Cool it, AJ. We need him to talk. But it's justified. Maybe. But follow my lead. <laughs> You've never done this before, have you? You and the devil child just making it up as you go along. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. <laughs> you aren't gonna do that. You don't have it in you. The fuck I don't. <laughs> oh, shit! Just tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. Good, Rosie. <laughs> Lily will never give them up. Oh, I don't plan on her doing that. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. I want her in the grave in season Jonathan one. Jonathan and me, for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. 
From Richmond to the coast. Back in the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. I don't give a shit about your war. Or your fucking Delta. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Better be some bold Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. <laughs> well, come on. That thing isn't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Yeah. Yeah, may as well. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> <coughs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. No medicine can fix this. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Uh, that's kind of depressing. Everything. Sorry, I think you, you were going to walk You kind of deserved that. Deserve that. You, you kind of robbed me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to dirt on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please. Yeah, I, 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 I feel kind of bad right now, so we're gonna, we're gonna just do this one for him. Right, don't you shoot him? Give that. me that gun. I wanna let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. I don't give a shit. You ain't pulling my move. I said not to look. That's on him. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. <sighs> I gave him his smoke, and I didn't let him turn. I Come did on. stick a dog we on have a him, boat but to find. 
That's a whole different thing. My gosh, you're going to become a little Clementine, aren't you? I, to be fair, I said, don't watch this. And I didn't torture him as much people do. Again, no music for copyright problems. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it nah. was! Mitch died because Say he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look! I swear to fuck if you kill him, AJ. That one's funny. Plus, he seems somewhat decent in a fight. Because we ought to let us mention he was decent in a fight for the most part. He knew how to make bombs. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. That's probably why. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, Burn let's it. see what else is down there. Shit ton of guards? The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Honestly, there are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. People. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Now I feel bad for torture and um. But I don't know if I would have gone it if I didn't do that. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! I thought I killed that person. Or is that a different person? Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Anything useful? 
this fall? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Light the whole bitch up. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Yeah. Seems like the way to do it. Cut the other supplies downstream at the same time. If you're we should get it. out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. I wonder if James will come and help us with the walker distraction. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. You better not get The fire killed. will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. I and mean, if we get rid of them, I, they definitely have a bigger community like they've been saying. Perfect. So, like... What about after we get everyone home? Hold that one off. I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Yeah. Hide, quick! Who is that? Friendly or an enemy? I feel like it's an enemy if it's this close to the boat. Oh, time to go shank A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! It's your people stole. Have they been hurt? I don't know what you're... I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. No. No. We need them to fight. They're all okay. Clementine, wait. That... That's Minnie. Oh, well, after the attack, I was in shock. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. 
The girl who took over after Marlin died. Yep. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people, let alone play class president. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse yeah. me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell? He gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie, you're wrong. Clem protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed? He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. And just like that, Rockingham Scooby Doo Gang is out. Finish up and head back. Uh, I want to be in before dark. I I want to kill her so quickly. If if I get the chance to, she's getting gunned down. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. Yeah, um... I'm serious. Don't fight this. The last time your people attacked us, you lost two men. You'll lose more if you come back. I feel like they lost a little more than two. Did that one chick that got crushed by the couch escape, or...? Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. And Good AJ, luck. you gotta shut up. Ten messed up the last plan. Pre pretty much. He got Mitch killed, technically. And if he knows his sister is alive, we are fucked. So... I kind of agree with not telling Ten whatsoever. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. That ain't good. I mean, Here, got, uh, let's rest a second. Internal bleeding or something. Which overall, not a great thing to have, especially in the apocalypse. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... 
I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. You know, they've been through different things than we have. There's probably a lot we can learn from them, too. Like drawing and playing the piano? Exactly. We can show them how to survive, and they can teach us to be normal. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like, from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. Hopefully he doesn't kill I like Tim the most, like I think. Our side. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh, well, oh yeah? You I too. thought I was your first real yeah. friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am yeah. not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. Your second first real friend. And that checks out with the English language. Oh, don't kill it. Don't kill it. The rock. A rocky rock. Uh, I think his thing's abandoned. Or he's just chilling there all weird. Hopefully he ain't dead. I don't want to kill any of them. Raz camp will get mad if we see if he sees us kill one. That done. Exactly look good. I don't see James. Just monsters. To be fair, kind of <coughs> oh, shit. James? You're hurt. Him too, didn't I? Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. Yeah, because you're the big brain. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I get it. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. <laughs> the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Yeah, I thought, distract I thought, all of them? I thought chicken nugget. Please. I'll go right after it. I'll... I'll try. I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! 
Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey, over here! Good job. Oh, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Dang. Slow reflex as much. <laughs> No! Shit! I wasn't thinking, sorry about that game. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. Yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> you didn't even try to spare I that. spared every single one except for the last one. Like, screw y Can we do a... Yeah, we can even do a fucking go back. Like, screw you. Last one I messed up on. But, the entire other Thank ones you. that were actually chasing... Thank you helping me get this back. I was friendly with. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. Hey, I was hella nice James. to those zombies, except for one. We still need his he help, snuck right? Snuck up on me and made me jump. Yeah, we do. Um, not too, too much. We tortured a guy. To get the location of the boat, but other than that, there wasn't too much. It was just scoping out the boat that we're gonna go attack it's and safe. get the kidnap people back. Just a little further. I'm exploring. I want collectibles. <laughs> Clem, what's this? It's Season one, we crushed the guy's head with it. Salt Lake? Uh, Ugh, sounds gross. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> um, gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, oh, learning sucks. Yes, we're gonna go kidnap the kidnapped. All these Beat weird Nick. ass toys. Like, was there no other toys in this world? My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called We're it. We're gonna walk in some cult shit. Collecting. Loud as ambus. They 
use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see well, them as I do. Like as house. people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, well, not alive. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. Yeah, he asked me to. I lived among walkers for years. So yeah. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. <laughs> if you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Oh, then hell tell yeah. Me if you really believe they're just 100% I'll become they a new are recruit of the just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. Shut up, AJ. She'll be She's safe. I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. I'll be fine, AJ. I'm doing this, okay? I've done it before, I... just without a mask. So I'll be, <gasps> be safer okay. with a mask. Okay, fine. I've done this a couple times. The first rule is never go alone. And I'm not leaving you. Of my rules, I'll be right so. back. Bye. Find the exit. James, I will. you're gonna be my babysitter. Don't let fear take over. If I die, I will. I you're promise. my permanent babysitter. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. What about the, like, you know, the rest? Of my life. Probably smells like human. Though. Oh, this is dope. Oh, calm down, Clementine. You've done this with less, like, less shit. Kind of peaceful, yeah. Oh, hey, 
Hey there, kiddo. It's all right. I'm fine. See? No yeah. bites. One bitch slapped me, but no we bites. Did. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, I, I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's. Thank you. I'm gonna go to New York. I'm glad. Walk around like a zombie. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. I'm fine not doing it with walkers. Please, or my friends are gonna die. I never had any before I came here. I can't let them. I won't. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And that's and if why your we friends don't are anything like out. you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Thank you, James. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Technically, these zombies are going to be heroes. When you said there might be people inside walkers, did you mean it? Yeah. Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Oh, that sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. If I have to make a hard decision to save James or not, I'm gonna do it. Because he seems kind of like it's pretty cool having like one of the only ex whispers. Because most of the ex whispers got murdered, I'm pretty sure. And all the whispers pretty much got were murdered too, so. <laughs> Mine, uh, it's only Alpha's daughter and I've never met anyone like up. James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He <laughs> doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. How'd you... You said he's cool. How'd you know exactly hey, what he was gonna say? <laughs> Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. 
No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. Or they walk with this a herd of last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. So, did we ever fix our front gate, or is that just... Dead? I'm gonna make the deck... Uh, the deck of... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. Time to put a bunch of more shit away. I definitely have not collected everything, I can tell you that much. Oh, frickin' Beat Nick. What's oh, his vegetable name? Game. Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. Fair enough. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I have, and I know there's supposed to be more shit here. <laughs> so I'm quite sure it is, because it's kind of plain. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Yeah. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a I good person. I told you to look away when I stabbed him in the face, so... Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Um, Part not of me too wants much. to like it. She's still alive. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? I forget if you were here yes. for that part, but because I'm always into, thinking um, the time. Okay. Ten's what are you thinking about Minnie right now? And the other one died off in the war. You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well. First, it would suck, like, big time. And then... I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy! <laughs> Stop! <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Run away as fast as... No. No, I'm yeah. not gonna do that. What if I want to be a zombie, AJ, huh? you promised. I don't care. I'm not leaving you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me, too. Damn! What? That you is some commitment I wanna be alone. right there. You got ten. Please don't be mad. You're I can't live here. with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it. So much. But... Don't make me. Alvin Jr., you will run as fast as you can. And you don't look back. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> <sighs> Parenting. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. 
that we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? AJ, I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. You're gonna drop it or you're in big trouble. Okay. I mean it. Why can't you just be nice to me, stupid Ed? AJ. Oh, I thought, it was, I thought you were going to shoot me. I am being nice to you. I told you I'm not going to fight you. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. It's not Minnie's fault. The Raiders just got in her head. I never said it was, but it doesn't change anything. Minnie, the real Minnie, she's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to start mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room, and it's like... Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. <laughs> Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis, Omar, Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. Well, thank you. <sighs> Stars, so you never forget that night. I never will. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you wanna? Just uh, us. No one else around. Fine. Someone gonna barge in for the party. I feel like she's gonna get killed real quick. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. I swear if she dies killing saving AJ, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause AJ's been a pain in my ass. Hey, Clem! To keep. Ow. Face. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. I want to keep pretty much, yeah, I want to keep everybody here alive. Like, in the school right now. Because Mitch was the only one I didn't hmm. really like to I the end. thought you were mad at me. Yeah, and then he got killed. Well, so I am. Everybody else is I still wanted to decent. show you. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> Think fast. 
you get for hitting Ouch! Me? <laughs> so you get for me, me lose my toss and freak me out. It's gonna pop. <laughs> I love you, Clem. Chip his tooth, or does it, does I'm it not sorry for calling you a dumbhead. It was stupid head. You called me a stupid head. Oh. Very <laughs> different. Right. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay. We better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. If I get to stay in here. Oh, shit. Um, I, from the looks of it, there was only one, like, whitish, grayish color pencil, so how do you make all that if there's no other color pencils, though? I'll be back in one second. And I am back. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Uh. Not much of a selection, but... It should do. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the old music teacher no, was a big play. fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? Uh, well, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, 
Purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet? I'll make it happen. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look paint. great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't wanna, uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, coming. Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Maybe also tell AJ so AJ don't shoot you if it comes down to it. Oh. My dancing's bad, but... I just remember the captain. She's my dog now. Wow. This looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah. Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. You made it, so we'll name it after you. Willie Jr. That's like my name, Alvin Jr. It is. I used to hate my name. Not anymore. Welcome to the world, W.J. I want to pet the dog. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. 
So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Uh, I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. I, I'm gonna say. That's gotta be Violet. Nope, way scarier. That's oh. Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? <laughs> really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, me should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, a. Uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that I was love our the Ruby. <laughs> used to have a mean streak a mile long. Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> you guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. What the f Trust me. <laughs> Nobody wanted to know what? that. Did he take after his name? What does I, that I mean? guess he took after his name. Uh -uh. Um, Don't you dare. Oh, come on, Ten. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Maybe we should change up the music? Uh, I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Damn, Holy there were a crap. lot of you. How many of us died? 34. Damn, that is a... That's, that's not too good. Is that including the ones that just died, is or...? It? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open... And all. You robbed your ma, your grandma for the chicken nuggets. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house. I growing knew up. it. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. Oh, well, that's depressing jobs. now. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. You made this hell of depressing. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a twenty-two rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. Well, so, you know, this she is just depressing the this way, but completely. She must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, use that to push the trigger in. So, yeah. Bang. Right. Well, and now I feel bad for joking about you stealing her chicken nuggets. Rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later, and I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like Grandma was going anywhere. And besides, 
I just wanted to finish my cartoons. What cartoon was it? Uh she shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Well, shit. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like. What you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm... I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Where the heck Ten's did, right. did you get so many purple jars from? Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. Huh? He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh... I can do that. Or we can go listen to more country and jazz. Never mind the darkness. Never mind the storm. Never mind the blood. Go pet the dog. I didn't get the pet yet. You let me pet her in like every other interaction. Be over Disrespectful. Soon. The night. I feel like this health foreshadowing that a lot of people are about to get dead. Away the Up that 34 count. Brush away the tears. Sing away your heavy heart. The night will be over soon. The night For every night goes quiet And every moon grows blue Beyond the dark comes something new The sun will be rising soon Damn, he leaving. The sun will be rising soon. Did everyone just leave? The sun will be rising soon. Now comes the attack. They're probably gonna play that song later on. Just because they can. Sweet pea. Lee? More of this stuff? I always look different. I swear he looks a bit Why different. Why the train? The one. You always pick the train. Oh, it's I'm not sure. Head. Maybe because this is where it all started. Or like where it all ended. Are you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair? To be ready for what was coming. Quick study. 
So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did, when a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue him. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. You're gonna pull through this one. Believe me. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but... Knowing what it takes to survive now. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. short um you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days <laughs> time to
to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. That's some Inception level shit right there. We got a long walk. <laughs> Lee was a Jedi. He let himself into the Force and became a Force ghost. Bam! I think it goes right through that little cheek hole. Ooh, shit. Time to make a new face. Uh, I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend He's to... He's here. Good lord. Uh... Hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh... So cool! How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I... Um... Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Yeah, he didn't know about that. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. The... They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. Mm. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends, too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But... It does sound nice. Would Let me think about us? it. Please tell me he joins us. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. Well, that sucks. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death. And suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I 
I slit his throat. Well, shit. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. And I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. And no one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. When he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Being ruthless is what's kept him alive. That's all that matters. And if history remains true, that'll be what gets him killed. True, true. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Just know, if he has to kill to save you, I don't give Take a shit. Take care of AJ. He's killing them. Or if I can kill him. Okay, he's ready to go. Or like, if I have to kill someone to save him. I'll Walkers are getting him. close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. I'm doing Will just Ted, fine. Take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. Plus, There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. He is doing somewhat uh, insane. If anything. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. They told you about many. Violet told me about many. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... She ain't gonna be with if you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Open this bag of Please, cheese nibs, I can tell you I that much. tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. I tell her, but that don't stop me from Thanks. digging into these cheese nibs right here. I'll tell you that much. It ain't the apocalypse yet, so I may as well enjoy some cheese nibs. Let's get this bag open. There we go. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I, I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I won't. That's not going to happen, Violet. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. I know that's easy to say, but... Look, I've got your back, okay? That's all. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart.
Get my back. I feel like we would not be able to get this much blood and shit out of that skinny walker. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. That's called cow Leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Like a sneaky snipe. Don't grab me. Ain't I thought he just missed the shot. The guts are washing off. Yep, they sure are. Trip our ass into the water and steal a gun. This way. Like that first. Oh, oh shit! There's a drown. Oh, hey! They're about to turn me into one of the drowns. Let's go. Hey, oh. Boom. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Don't hit it. Oh, shit.
We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said they didn't hurt anyone. We'll have to hope she told the truth. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Okay, they only have like three, maybe four horses. What's up with all the hay? They take it or like, well, this is always here. Woo! These people have horrible perception checks, I can tell you that much. the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Was that the chick that got crushed by this couch? was wait here let me use my favorite move I go for the knee. Scoo mercying them. They're literally kidnapping people. Make your dad proud, Willie Jr. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. I like take like a... Or did I already take it? Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Oh, screw that. They're dicks. I'll kill every one of them. Shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. A shooter? Sorry. Still eating these cheese nips. They're really good. Get out. Not without our people. I You're swear out, guys. God, if you got ten caught up in this, oh. just 
Just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Okay. Come uh, good on. Deal. We have to hurry. I was, I was really ready to just, to just end your shit, but we gotta play the nice. Fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I, uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. Take care of Louis first. He's, he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian wow. comes back. So much unlocking you did right there. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Hi, Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me. Don't be violent. Don't have to. Minnie, let us go. No. I knew. <sighs> I should have put my cheese nip down and shot her with an arrow. Uh, huh? oh. What the fuck? Lewis. Did I cut your tongue out? That's messed up, man. You were the singer and shit. <laughs> I can kill it. Every one of these dealt to motherfuckers. What Doing did Lewis they do like to that. you? I know I bitched him out a lot, but no. I didn't have to cut his tongue out. No, no don't. They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. He just, uh... He kept fucking talking. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Lewis. We're getting out of here, okay? Let's get you home. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can I use that jacket for a second, Lamp? I'll strangle someone with a jacket. You'll be home Poor soon. asshole kind of tongues out, kidnapping people. The way I see it is, they all going down. No, not the sheet, my I want to look at the gap. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Oh, fair enough. Hi, Violet. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. No shit, they ain't gonna leave you in here with a knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Damn, nice slide. These are some smooth floors for being a ship. Especially with grading and everything. Yeah, he don't like knives, I feel like it. We're not staying here that long. Put my cheese nibs away for this. Hey! 
whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Oh, fucking Lily. Good. I'll take it from here. How's your shoulder doing? <laughs> Thought no one was hurt, asshole. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Shut the fuck up! Fuck, you little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Oh shit! Hold that oh real quick. Minerva. Smooth criminal. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. You can cut my Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. Yeah, those things are going to be. You know, my right father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds yeah, of rules. Yeah, guess what? Kenny crushed the his thing that bugged him most lake. was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Oh, uh, you're talking about Minnie. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva?
I killed her. Okay, what I, the Jesus fuck? Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. I am very happily gonna sister? kill her, and Why I'm gonna kill Lily. Screw this whole group. She was twisting my head with her lies. And? Exactly like Lily does? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! All right, Lily. You made your point. I'll do what you want. What? No! You can't become a soldier in their army. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. Oh, the fuck you will not. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. I swear to fuck. Stop! Don't hurt Violet. I'm a stab Or I'll bitch. hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it or you gonna get yourself. Fuck no! Get off of me! I like I like Easy. the handgun. I'll take it from Stay you when I'm done with still. you. Shit. Fuck you now! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Oh shit! Hey Jay! <laughs> Beef jerky! Son of a bitch! That's enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. All right, if anything, that seems like the best thing. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your or, head. Or big talk for a little guy. Salt lick. No, I can do it. It'd be the it'd be the I family um and I was justified. Dang. Oh shit. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. We could have we should have killed her. Come on. Let's go have a and chat. Get him. Should have hit him with an RB. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her. I ought to yank that Lily, fucking crossbow out of your hand. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Oh shit, that ain't good. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival. Look at what you're doing. Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker, Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance, I know. I know. Okay? But so How the fuck do you not hear any of this? You all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you. Like I said, peekaboo. Oh, no. You're the fucking problem here! Oh, shit! I won't let you get them all killed! Shoot her ass! Nerva! I can't let her leave! Shit! Oh, 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 oh. Look, 
Now you and your um your captain have matching marks. Fuck that, don't help her. Stab her some more. Come on, we have to go. I can't I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. She ain't gonna come, die from come that. Come on! We have to get the hell out of here. Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. I'll better make it out. Like, I, I would have just shanked her right then and there. Finish that shit. There's nobody learn in this game. Shit, I started the boiler. Yeah, that means shit's going down we'll soon. We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of room. Zero, man. Zero in the docks. You can even share a room. Oh shit. Did they get James? Ten! Oh no, they got ten. Fuck. Yeah. Tennessee, like did place, you get I'll lost? Ma'am, he wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. Shit, they got James! This way. Oh, couch lady. They must have got James, that was the only other person. Ah, oh, shit. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Damn, James. Is that Shut so? Up. Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. Don't listen to her, AJ. The you thing better about not kill people James. like him, AJ is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. I'm killing everybody on this boat if I can. Screw all kill of them. It. No! Don't you dare kill Jay! Fuck! Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her! Hey, quit switching your gun. Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. Do it, Ten! That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Ten. Show her! Looks like you're Damn not it. a soldier either. Please, don't! No! My little ankle biter. He's always... Well, not really ankle. He bit a chick's ear off. He bit Ruby. He bit Lily. He's biting everybody. It's like a chihuahua. They like biting everybody. Oh! Shit, I learned that from um, Jane. Hey, I caught that. You said I caught that. <laughs> Nudge. Oh, I already plan on it. Even if somebody can... I've already decided James will get mad at me if it... I make AJ kill anybody, but if it's her, I'm, I'm gladly letting it happen even if she gets mad. I like James, but... Shit, come on, climate time. You made a big fucking Punch her in the throat! Or do that. <coughs> fucking wait! AJ, get her! <laughs> Woo! Dang! I'll give you this, you got some. You're pretty tough, Lily! Oh shit! Kick again! Yeah, how's that feel? <laughs> AJ, 
Jay, wait! I give up. I will give up. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you. That anymore. ain't true. Oh. AJ. She's not a threat. She a hundred percent is a threat. She's gonna come back! There. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. <laughs> you don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! AJ? AJ? Just I know. Give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. Do it, AJ! Woo! Well, I'm season one. No. Okay, calm the fuck down, AJ. We need that ammo. AJ, stop! Yeah, one tap. Maybe two. But come on. Now James is mad at me. You could have done one and maybe I got away with Billy, it with him? You couldn't find the other. What did you do? You are fucking dead. Your whole team is dead. That's what's dead. Shit, the bomb. AJ! Woo! See, now, I know for a fact she would have killed someone if I left that be. I 100% feel like she would have, A, killed, um, 10, or B, killed James. And even if James is pissed at me, I'd rather have him live, and 10, he, he's been nice to me the whole game, so he can live too. How does that make sense? 49 plus 49%. That's 98. How did 3%? How does that work? That's an extra 1%. This game. This game don't know what it's talking about. Okay, I was on I was on the good side with letting him kill her. Okay, he can get over it, man. Like he straight up said he killed a bunch of people and he got over it and he's doing better now, so I don't care what happened to Minerva. I mean, hey, with the whole, I'd kill the Raiders, they attack the school again. I all of them without them attacking the school again. So. Yeah, he dead. He in the basement. <laughs> she was surprised. I wanted to cooperate. And then she died. <laughs> Rosie's just at home like, hmm. Hope nothing's happening. <laughs> oh shit, there's a lot of stuff that I could've grabbed. Oh, I could've kept those wind chimes? Oh. Okay, well that's the end of the stream. Just because I have to cut it up into pieces so I can upload, like... Upload to either YouTube and cut into parts for TikTok. But I'll be back on like maybe 10 minutes, not even.
So I'll be right back.